Hi everyone, Angela here. Today I'm going to show you how I make these handy kitchen towel or dishcloth scarves. When you wear this around your neck, there's no more searching all over the kitchen for something to wipe your hands on, to clean the counter, or to use as a pot holder. They're really quick and simple to sew and make great gifts that'll definitely get used. Make sure to watch till the end as I'll show you how to make with directional fabric and also with a bit of trim. I'll be using my wide quilting ruler with the silicon template grips on the back so that it doesn't slide around when I cut my fabric, a rotary cutter, my favorite Kai scissors, Japanese snippers that can cut really close to the ends of the threads, a vanishing marking pen, pins and fabric clips. You can find links for all the tools I use in the description below. To make this, I just need one kitchen towel and some cotton fabric. These are the different types of cotton dishcloths that I like to use rather than thick hand towels or microfiber towels. A thin waffle weave, a plain flat weave, or a thin terry cloth. Most dishcloths that I buy are roughly about 20 inches wide by 27 inches long or 50 centimeters wide by 70 centimeters long. Remove any loops or labels from the towel by carefully cutting it close to the seam. I don't recommend ripping the labels from the dish towel just in case it damages the stitching. Fold the towel lengthwise in half by matching the shorter ends and sides together and then cut along the fold. With the towel piece right side up, give it a quick press. Fold in half by matching the sides and then just press along the top a little bit to create a center mark. Fold the sides in so that the edges meet at the center. Fold again so the edges line up with the sides and press. Now grab the top with all the layers and flip it to the wrong side, then fold the sides in to meet at the center. Make sure there isn't a gap at the top and then give it a press. Now you have nice accordion pleats on each side. Then pin or clip all the layers to hold in place. And then repeat for the other piece. So the pattern on this fabric is not directional, so it doesn't matter if you cut along the width or along the length, but I'm going to save fabric and cut along the width for the scarf. First I'll just fold the fabric with right sides together with my selvage edges lined up and I just need to clean up and square off my bottom edge. Now we need to figure out how wide to cut the fabric. Our pleated towel measures five inches across, so we need to double that and then add one inch for seam allowance. So that's five plus five plus one. We're gonna cut our fabric 11 inches wide. So however wide your fabric is, that will be the length of the fabric part of your scarf. Double check and then cut across at 11 inches. Then also trim away the selvage edges. Now lift and fold to match all the long edges together and then we're just going to cut some notches right in the center of the short sides. Then over at the center of the long sides we're going to cut notches two inches in from the folds. Open up your fabric and we'll head over to the machine. With the fabric right side up we want to match that center notch to the center of the right side of the towel. Pin or clip all the layers together if you need to. We're now just going to sew a holding stitch with a 3 8 of an inch seam allowance. There's no need to back tack, making sure to keep those center edges butted close together and there's no space in between. Now wrap the fabric around the side of the towel with the edges lined up. Make sure it's nice and tight, but not too tight that it actually pleats the towel. Using 3 8 of an inch seam allowance again, just sew in about an inch, no need to back tack. This is just to hold the corners in place. Then repeat for all the other corners. Okay. 
Now with the corners secured in place, just match the edges of the long sides together. Hold it and pinch it in place to see what the seam allowance is going to be for the fabric to sit flat against the towel. When you wrap the fabric around the towel at the sides, it can take up a bit of the fabric depending on how thick and bulky your towel is. Even though I've allowed half an inch seam allowance for each side, it's always a good idea to check in case this changes. Now match the notches that were made in the center of the long edges. Either pin or clip at the notches if you need to. The seam between the notches won't be stitched as this will be the opening where we pull the ends through. Push your towel right out of the way, match your long edges together, and then stitch with the seam allowance that you need. In my case, it's still half an inch. Back tack at the start, and when you get to the first notch, back tack again. Skip over the area between the notches, back tack, continue stitching, and back tack at the end of your seam. So now everything should fit together nice and flat. Spread open the seam and flip it over. This time stitch across each end with a half inch seam allowance, back tacking at the start and finish. By using a bigger seam allowance, that first row of stitching won't show when you pull the ends through. Now press the entire center seam open flat, being careful not to press the sides of the fabric at all. A little mini iron would be great to press this center seam open. Go in through that center opening and pull out the towel nice and taut. Where the fabric meets the towel, the edge should be nice and smooth because we did that holding stitch around all the corners and the center seam at the back should line up with the center of all the pleats. Pull out the other end and keeping that center seam in the middle, give the fabric another press. Next, we'll do a quarter inch or six millimeter top stitch from the seam on both ends, back tack at the start and finish. If you choose to, you can also top stitch the fabric all along the sides. Now we just have this opening to close. You can do it by hand with needle and thread and slip stitching it, but I'm just gonna match the folds together and then edge stitching it close, back tacking at the start and finish. Give it one last press along that opening and you're done. So this scarf ended up being about 69 inches long or 175 centimeters. One last option, if you don't like how wide it is on the back of your neck, fold the scarf in half with the fronts together and just below that opening in the center where we closed it, stitch through all the layers creating a big pleat to make it narrower. Now, if you have a directional print, you're not gonna wanna cut across the width of the fabric because when you wear it, it'll look like this. It's not bad, but it'll be a lot nicer to cut along the length of the fabric. I'll need to cut two pieces along this length, but I wanna make it slightly longer than this first scarf I made by adding six or seven inches. It's a lot handier for someone taller or if you wanna wipe the counters while you're wearing it. First trim away the selvage edges and the folded tea towel I'll be using for this fabric again measures 5 inches across so I'll be cutting the two fabric pieces 11 inches wide by 27 inches long. Turn it around lengthwise and this is how it should look when you're wearing it. Put right sides together and then place a pin or a clip at the top where we'll be joining it. Then flip around to the bottom and make your notches in the center again and position the towels in place. Join the back neck with a half inch seam, back tacking at the start and finish. Press the next seam open and then attach the towels to the ends of the scarf like we did before. But when you sew the long edges together, you're gonna stitch past this center neck seam about half an inch and then back tack. Leave about four inches in between, back tack again, and then continue stitching the rest of the seam, back tacking at the end. 
by doing that, it'll catch the edges of the next seam. And then when we turn it over to close that opening, you won't be edge stitching over that extra bulk in the center, but just past it. And that center seam will stay nice and flat with the edge stitching just below it. Here I have another scarf with the back neck joined already, and I want to add this inch wide trim along the bottom. Mark a line half inch up from the bottom as a straight guide for the tape edge. Place the trim along that line, and then edge stitch it on back tacking at the edges of the fabric. And then cut off any excess trim. Take your pleated towels and stay stitch across the top about half an inch from the edge. I'll have a tutorial for making bowl cozy soon, so if you pair that with one of these, it'll make a great gift set. Fold your fabric right sides together and stitch that center seam closed. Make sure to match the edges of the trim, the center seam at the neck, and back tack at the start and finish. Press the center seam open without pressing the sides and turn right side out. Position the seam in the center and press down the sides. On the ends of the trim, you can turn the edges under on a 45 degree angle and press. This way when you stitch the trim to the towel, it won't show on the right side. With the fronts of both pieces up, insert the towel into the scarf until the edge of the trim covers that line of stitching. Make sure that the sides of the towel are sitting in nice and flat. Check that everything is sitting nicely underneath as well, and then stitch through all the layers along the edge of the trim, back tacking at the start and finish. Although it's a little early in the year, you can start making these for your holiday gifts. Thanks again for watching, take care and see you in my next video.